Where, where did God come from? <laughs> you see, again, when you say God, yeah? <laughs> oh, which God is the... That's the point. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, point. Yeah. You see what I mean? Because like, <laughs> everyone has their version of what they consider God. Mm -hmm. But that's why I gave you the Quran and I gave you the Bible um, and I gave you like the Torah because if we take each one of those, like obviously in Arabic they're going to say Allah. Mm. And when you start to learn Arabic, you have, like I said, the singular and then you have the plural, which is Allah and you have Allahumma. And in the, in, in the Hebrew, you'll have Elo or Elohim. And, you know, if you go to the Greeks, you're going to have different names like there's different names for what people are calling God you go to the Hindus you go to the Anunnaki you go to the it depends on what your perception or concept of, of God is but um, I can tell you in the Bible where if you read um, Revelation 3 14 it tells you that God was created <laughs> yeah it says I Tom witnessed the creation mm. of God so who, who in if you go off the Bible story then revelations who, who created God I Tom and who was Atum? Atum is an ancient Egyptian deity. Mm. This is where um, you got like Atum, um, um, Amun. These are all e ancient Egyptian names, yeah? This is why in religion, everyone says at the end of their prayers, what? In Islam, they say, Amin. In Christianity, they say, Amen. Yeah? yeah? If you study languages, you will see that the way the phonetics of the language is Amin is Amun. Yeah, and Amun is one of the deities of ancient Egypt, or what people call Kemet. So, and he had a wife. You had Amun and Amunet. Yeah, you had different, like what we call the Ogdoads or the Nine Ineads. These are the original deities of ancient Tamre or Egypt. And so Amun is a being, like they had children. Um, so what I'm saying, the concept of God being this being that is sitting in a, a throne in heaven, doesn't make sense mm. if you really think about it because he's supposed to be omnipotent, omnipresent, yeah, which means that he's everything, he's everywhere, and he knows everything, right? How can he sit inside a chair? That means the chair is bigger than him. Like you, you couldn't fit into that chair if you was big, too big for the chair, right? So for the concept of a God sitting in heaven, the fact that he's sitting down means he's got a bottom. Mm. And if he's got a bottom, He's got to have legs because you can't just have a bottom floating in heaven. You see what I mean? Like when you start to piece it together, so he's got to have legs. If he's got a legs and he's got a bottom, that means he's going to have hands and he's going to have, do you know what I mean, a full body. And then when you go into the scriptures, he's talking, he's walking in the garden, he's asking questions, he's saying things. And like, so my, the concept of God through a religious um, perspective yeah. is just dealing with higher beings that have evolved and quite intelligent to a different level. Do you know what I mean? But um, our ancestors are what we would refer to as gods or gods and goddesses. So when you go into ancient Egypt, you have like Amun, you have, a, you have Ra, you have Isis. And this is where the stories that you have in Christianity, for example, have been taken from. Because mm. you've got Osiris, Isis and Horus. Yeah. You go into ancient Sumeria, that becomes the, Mu the Muzi, um, Ishtar and Tammuz mm. that comes into Christianity and you get God the Father, Mary, oh well, they, they kind of leave out Mary, <laughs> they got God the Father, so the Son and the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost yeah. and leave out Mary, yeah. where Mary should really be very important because she gave birth to Jesus. Yeah. You see what I mean? So, yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that answered your question on, on God. So a God can be defined as someone in control. So do you think there's, there's one God or multiple? There's multiple. Yeah. yeah. It says that in every... That's what I said to you about the English is what throws people off because when you translate from the Semitic languages or Kemetic languages into English, you lose that sense of plurality. You know what I mean? Because it becomes a singular. They say one God. They say there's only one God. Check this out, as I said before. Christianity, Islam, Judaism all say there's only one God, but then he says, but you're not allowed to have any other gods but me. Mm. Which in itself tells you there's others that I can choose to have. Were well, they not referring to kind of idols or what someone would see as God? What do you mean? I don't understand. Um, if you idolise something, you might, you might see it as God? Yeah, you could look at it that way. Because even in um, 
in, in Mecca back then, there were lots of idols. There's an idol called Alat. If you go into the history, yeah. do you know what I mean? You had Allah, Alat, and like you were saying. But the point is, even if you're looking at it as a, a statue or whatever, that means you're saying there is more than one God then. Right. I see what you mean. <laughs> but even in the Bible, like uh, Exodus 7 1, yeah. Moses was made of God by God. Mm. Was he? Yeah. yeah, Exodus 7 1. If you go into um, John 10 34, Jesus said that he's not written in your law. I said, Ye are gods. Psalms, Psalms 8 to 2 verse 6. 6. Yeah. Ye are gods. All of you are gods and children of the Most High. So it's, it's written in there. But in the English, they give you that small G. Little G and big G. All that, in, which is in, not true yeah, either. In Greek and yeah. in English, the, the, yeah. It would, There's no it, such thing as a little yeah. G, a big G, when you go into the languages. You see, it's a trick. Like, oh, we, like for example, if you started reading the Bible from the beginning, you get words like Elohim, mm. Adonai, um, what's the other ones? There's so many. Ad like, Adon yeah, I see Adonai. Adonai. Yeah, there's so many words that like, when they translate into English, it's just Bal God, God, <laughs> God, 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 God. Yeah, Yahweh, you know what I mean? Jehovah, mm. which again doesn't make sense. There's no J's or V's in Hebrew. So you can't make up words like Jesus and Jehovah because that is a mistranslation. Because in the Hebrew, the J would be a Y. You see, and it's a Yahuwa, Yahuwa. And there's no Vs either in the Hebrew. Mm. So you can't make up words like Jehovah because you can't get a J and you can't get a V. And, and so what it is, is a mistranslation of Yahuwah. And like we say, don't believe us. Anything we say, you can go and research and check it out. Do you know what I mean? Because we're not really here to put down anyone or whatever. We just come with the facts and, you know what I mean, just basically teaching for people that want to learn and know. Um, yeah.